My name is Stephanie Botts and I'm the Victim Witness Coordinator for Williams County and I worked with the Reynolds and Kimmel family. Both of their sons were killed by a drunk driver. It impacted a lot of people's lives. Every person that was on that scene had to witness this. My name is Trooper Michael Wald. I'm with the North Dakota Highway Patrol. Uh, I was one of the first officers on scene involving Mr. Kimmel and Mr. Reynolds. We received a call about a reckless driver uh, west of Trenton. While we were en route, uh, we received an additional call in the same area about a head-on collision involving a van and two motorcycles. When I arrived on scene, uh, I spoke to several witnesses and I had spoke to the semi-driver involved in the crash. Uh, what we had observed was the van had been passing uh, the semi for an extended period of time and it remained in the passing lane even after the safe pass could have been completed. Um, so at the time, the van was in the wrong lane when it went head on with the two motorcycles. When I was communicating with the family, I just felt that I had to be strong, professional, you know, not get emotionally attached. Inside it was definitely difficult um, just to put myself in their shoes, to see how they react to it, um, knowing I probably would be the same way, knowing it would affect me probably the same way. Serena and I were one of the first responders on scene. Um, I noticed there was a gentleman sitting in the ditch. I went over there with the jump kit, extra jump kit, to, to assess him when I realized that there was another boy laying in the ditch. I yelled up, Serena came down. She'd asked about Eddie, because um, Eddie was already covered in a blanket. And so she, she did her assessment of Eddie or checked on Eddie and we agreed at the same time that he was gone. I looked over, I seen a couple of our other first responders that were there, they were with Blake. Blake was responding to them. He was still talking to us. We had used all of our trauma dressings that we had in the ambulance to help him. I tried to keep him go home as much as I could. <sighs> the hardest thing I went through that night was knowing that you know, there was going to be no survivor and knowing that some parent was going to get that knock on the door. <laughs> I'm an EMT because I want to help people when they can't help themselves. Nobody should have to do what we had to do that night. Drinking and driving isn't worth it. <laughs> it's not just your life. It affects everybody that loves you, your friends, your family people that don't even know you, the people that respond to these accidents. How much education do you need to stop drinking and driving? This story should stop everyone from drinking and driving. If you hear this story, don't get in your car. Don't be the next one to take away two boys. Don't be the next one to create an empty space.